murder trial making headlines this morning. A woman accused of killing her boyfriend, a Miami police officer. She's facing charges. Her attorneys say it was self-defense, but prosecutors say this is really a case of lies and deceit. ABC Steve Osinsami is live with us this morning. Steve. Good morning to you, David. Tonico Thompson has already tried to use that claim of self-defense to get this trial dismissed, and that didn't work. Police say that after the shooting, her boyfriend was still alive, and they say she left him to die. In this Florida courtroom, lawyers fighting for her freedom say that Tonico Thompson is a victim, claiming that her police officer boyfriend was physically abusive, showing what she says were injuries from the beatings, and saying that she shot him accidentally as they struggled over his gun. DNA swabs come back positive for Tonico Thompson's DNA up on his fingernails. Even before police charged her with second degree murder, she told WTVJ in Miami that her boyfriend, Officer Carl Patrick, put a gun in her face the night he died in May of 2014. He scared me. I feared for my life and I held on. I, and we struggled because I wasn't going to let go. It's the same account she tearfully told investigators with cameras rolling. I didn't do I didn't kill Carla, Carla. But prosecutors say it's all a lie, saying that for 13 months she pretended she was pregnant with his child, even sending texts and photos to friends. And the fight broke out, they say, when he learned the truth. The state says Officer Patrick could have survived the gunshot wound, but says that Thompson never called for help and instead came and went from the home at least five times while his body was inside. At one point, police say she's seen here on a security camera getting things from a storage space. The body was found in a, wrapped in a comforter um, between the wall and the bed. Police say she left a note at the crime scene saying it was an accident. She could get life in prison if convicted. Prosecutors say that she pretended she was pregnant so that she could convince her boyfriend to, to live together. They also say that they had already named the baby a girl that was supposed to be named Victoria. David. All right, Steve Osin Sami with us this morning. Steve, thanks as always. Let's get right to ABC News Chief Legal Analyst Dan Abrams with us this morning. We heard what Steve said there. The evidence prosecutors were pointing to that she never called for help, came and went five times, and you were pointing out They'll also, they'll also talk about where she targeted, where the gunshot That's was. That's right. Two key points here for prosecutors are going to be what did she do after the fact and the medical evidence. Prosecutors are going to say he was shot in the back, and they're going to say, if he's shot in the back, how is that possibly self-defense? And also what she did after the fact, meaning let's assume that this was self-defense. Let's assume she's trying to get away from him and she shoots him. Then why wouldn't she try and get help? Uh, for him afterwards. Now, what her claim is going to be is that she, um, uh, you know, she wasn't thinking rationally, that she freaked out in, in essence and, and left, etc. So just what she did after the fact, I don't think is going to be enough mm. for a conviction. They're going to need that medical evidence, I think, to be clear that he was shot in the back. If that's the case, this is going to be a stronger case for prosecutors. But Dan, you told us this before, that when you talk about self-defense, that the prosecutors really have to make a case beyond reasonable doubt. That's here. right. That's right. It's still the prosecution's burden to prove the case beyond a reasonable doubt, which effectively means to prove it's not self-defense. And look, she's got some real claims here about self-defense. She's going to argue there were injuries. They're going to say that there weren't injuries. That's going to be one of the issues in the case. Um, and then prosecutors are going to effectively have to say that that's not true. That can be very hard in certain self-defense cases. All right. You'll be here along the way with the case. Absolutely. All right, Dan, thanks so much.